Today is the day. Welcome to Harvest 2022. Last video we finished up silage harvest and today we're starting wet corn. The first thing I gotta do, finish cleaning up the rest of the dry corn that's in the pit, not too much left, a couple scoops, and then we'll get set up. We're gonna have our grinder sitting right there, that auger and tractor sitting right there to auger the corn from the semi into the grinder to shoot it into the pit. Then after that, we'll have a little lunch. It's the weekend, so we're not working too hard today. Then we're gonna take the combine out, give it a poke, see what the moisture's like. Because it's been so abnormally hot and dry, things are drying down really quick. And so we might have to, uh, there's one field we want to harvest our corn out of for the wet corn, but it might be too dry, so we might have to hop to another field. Who do we have here, folks? <laughs> that looks like a whole lot of hoopla going on. I wear the white shoe. Oh, God! So, Tiff, we gotta get this cone on that auger. How do we do it? I was hoping you had the answer. I think you should climb up there. Okay. Did on the side of the grain bin. Yeah. Without anyone here. Okay. Yeah. I like that idea. I don't think Tammy would. I have a plan. You're gonna have to run a tractor, okay? Oh. Hope you're not texting while I'm dangling from the sky. Okay. All you all you do when I give you the up or the up, you pull straight back on this, and it lifts the loader. And then when I go like these. You stop. You're so good. I was born to do this. <laughs> she just left me. She's gone. I gotta walk now. Next, just gotta get that cone. Pointing into the hopper of that corn cracker over there. That should do. I don't know why she left me. You girls never leave me. But you're also kind of in a pen. Hmm. So we got most things set up, just gotta lower the swingway and then get to the field. Should I dump them out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite part of the day. So dad's headed down the road. We're gonna hop in the grain cart, bring that. Tiff's gonna bring the pickup. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think you, I see some corn. Oh yeah, a bushel of acres. We got some kernels. It's raining gold, Pa, it's raining gold. So we're starting by taking the end rows off this field. I was thinking it was a little dry, so 
so far it's actually being it's just fine. I think we got our deck plates closed too much. We're having trouble with Okay. That. We're doing this field first because the cows right next door are running out of feed and we'd like to be able to graze these stocks. But we also got to tear out a fence at the end of the field to put it in new. So hopefully it's wet enough and not too dry. We can try another field, but this is the one we want to have done so we can fix that fence. Things are going pretty well. You know, the end rows are usually bad, but we hit one spot that had some pretty decent yield which gives us some hope for the rest of harvest and the moisture is looking pretty decent so hopefully we're able to take the whole field out here. Things are running, everything's working. She's a farm girl today. Tiff and I are going to go back get a semi that'll just keep harvesting over here. And once we get a full load, we'll of course bring it back, start cracking, and then I'll get to live in the pit, the pits of hell. <laughs> Not one of my most favorite jobs. I like it for the first two hours, but then it's, it gets monotonous and hectic, and it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Got that sucker pretty full. Got the big bigly plugage. Oh. It's raining. It's fun. <laughs> Just don't get my weird neck hair in the video, okay? Your neck cute? I haven't been to the I haven't been to the hairdresser in a while. If you look right there, that's some brand spanky new fence that Dad did, Ben and I did last November. Off to grab the next semi. We got two flat tires that I gotta fill before we take off. It's just crazy how tall that wet corn stands up in there. Some moron left the tarp shut, so now they gotta get out and open the tarp before they can dump. I wonder who that guy is. Time to crack some kerns. Grab a water and a little Gatorade mix, maybe two. We got green flavor this year. Okay, we're ready to rock. I got my bucket on, got my mixture. Just gotta get stuff fired up and start dumping corn. Woohoo! 
That thing shoots. Oh my goodness. This is fun. I got my own little rocket launcher. I got a Kern launcher over here. Oh, that's sweet. Wow, that went well, but we got a truck full out the field. They're running out of space, so we're gonna head right back. And when we get back, then I'll spend the time and pack it. I have not maxed that machine out yet. I was taking it easy because I've maxed out other machines before and it's not fun when you do that because then stuff plugs. Let's get going. Ugh. Oh, I need a couple more horsepower. This flat wheel ain't helping, look at that. Come on, I need a chiropractor. I don't want to forget that. We got one full truck. Dad's probably got enough corn in the combine already to fill this truck. We gotta get the tractor in there and move a little bit of that corn around before we start packing or cracking again. Crack and pack it, here we go. We're doing it. We are doing it. I tell you what. I haven't had time to look at this stuff yet. It looks pretty powdery. Oh yeah, there is moisture there. Can't complain about it? Yeah, I can. <laughs> you know me. A lot of small pieces and not very many whole kernels. And I don't like seeing whole kernels because it's like, well, what'd we run it through there for if we got whole kernels? So I like how it's leaving it. Awesome. That's pretty sweet. Now this time I'm kind of ready to go. I want to see how fast I can kick corn out of there without overloading this you know if I look over and this thing's starting to fill up that ain't good next video we'll get into what that is we don't have time today Oh, we're shooting her far. Look at that. Oh, it is piling up. Well, we're finding max capacity. Been using that as a shade. Works pretty good. That's a 
that's a dirty window. We started on the first half of the third truck. Poor Dad, he said he wanted to be done by 4.30 so we can watch the Packers play. Well, it's past six and it sounds like they ain't doing good. So, you know, maybe, maybe it's a good thing he didn't have time to watch it because it doesn't sound like it's a good game. grinding corn pretty fast and with the amount of liquid I'm putting in that bucket it needs to be coming out a little faster now of course we could use less water I'd rather have a little more water with a bigger hole what say you I would say it's going to have an excellent mouth feel for the kettles. Here, open up and put some in there. No. Seems pretty good. It's got some warmth to it. Yeah, it's, it's been flipping hot out. When the corn crackers are knocked, don't... He wasn't appreciating what you said about the corn. With the corn crackers rocking, it don't come a knock them. says, I'm warm too. Hey, by the way, I don't know if I told you what the song of the day was. It's by Boston and it's called More Than a Feeling. I'm done. We got a really good jump on that today, and we started late. Tomorrow we should be able to go from three semi-loads cracked and packed all the way to eight, which is eight or nine is how many we want in there. So we'll see you next video working on that. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.